Hi, Mr. Heffern here, and this is a uh, short video on relative velocity and frames of reference. Relative velocity is the vector difference between two objects' velocities. Relative velocity is the velocity of an object relative to another object. Imagine you're traveling and you stare at another moving object and ignore the world around you. The motion you perceive for the other object is the velocity relative to you. So, for example, in this question here, or example, we have a plane traveling 900 kilometers per hour east, a um, supercar traveling west at 200 kilometers per hour. If they were to hit each other, they're, or just pass by, they are approaching each other at 1100 kilometers per hour. Or uh, approaching sometimes is written as a minus sign. Approaching objects. If the relative velocity results in the objects moving closer together, then they're approaching one another. So, for example, uh, here are two objects traveling head-on, or here one object catching up to another one from behind. So here are 2,000 kilometers per hour plus 1,200. We get a total approaching velocity of 2,200. Here, uh, moving at 2,000 kilometers per hour behind another object, moving at 1,200. Now we're approaching at 800 kilometers per hour. If you have opposite directions, then add the speeds. If you're in the same direction, you're going to subtract the speeds. So your receding objects. If the relative velocity results in the objects moving further apart, then they're receding from one another. Kind of like my hair did a long time ago. All right. So in this case here, we got a Porsche traveling to the right at 200 kilometers per hour. And we have a Corvette speeding away at 300 kilometers per hour. So how quickly is the Corvette escaping from the Porsche? It's escaping at 100 kilometers per hour. So sometimes, if you want, you can change receding to be a plus sign. Same directions, subtract speeds. So let me read a little typo here. So we've got the Porsche going 200 kilometers per hour to the, to, the, to the left. Corvette doing 300 kilometers per hour to the right. So now they're moving in opposite directions. So we're going to add the speeds up. So now they're moving away from each other at 500 kilometers per hour. That means every hour they'll be 500 kilometers further apart. Okay, frames of reference. Each observer may perceive and describe the motion of an object differently based on their own velocity, their own reference frame. So here we got a, um, a ball with a fly on it. Compared to the ball, the fly is moving at zero kilometers per hour. The pitcher is going to throw the ball at 150 kilometers per hour, so it's moving away from the pitcher at 150 kilometers per hour. But the ball was already on top of a track moving at 50 kilometers per hour. And up ahead, there's a motorbike who's doing 100 kilometers per hour relative to the road. Behind, there's a bicycle at 25 kilometers per hour. And there is a catcher on the side of the road moving at zero kilometers per hour relative to the road. So, uh, what, uh, what is the velocity of the ball according to all these different observers? Well, that's what we like to find out. So, for the, uh, for the pitcher, the ball's moving away at 150 kilometers per hour because they pitch her through the ball from rest to 150 kilometers per hour. And a nice little parabola. All projectiles make parabolic curves. Okay, so now how about for the, uh, for the catcher? Well, the ball was moving at 50 because it was on the track and it was moving at 150 because it was thrown that hard. So altogether it is now moving towards the catcher at 200 kilometers per hour. The biker. The biker uh, was moving away at 100 kilometers per hour, but the ball is moving at 200 kilometers per hour relative to the road. So altogether, that means the ball is actually catching up to the biker at 100 kilometers per hour. The cyclist was trying to catch up at 25 kilometers per hour, but the ball is moving forward at 200 kilometers per hour relative to the road. So now the ball is escaping or receding from the bike, the cyclist at 175 kilometers per hour. So, the fly. Well, the fly is stuck to the ball, so the ball is not moving according to the fly. But the rest of the world is. And this is kind of like us on the planet Earth. We're on the Earth, which is spinning at like 1,600 kilometers per hour, and we are orbiting the sun at 108,000 kilometers per hour, but we don't notice because we are stuck to the Earth, just like the fly is to the ball. So in summary, relative velocity is a vector difference between two objects' velocity vectors. Approaching means they're getting closer together. Receding, moving further apart. And the easy rule is, if the objects are moving the same direction, 
subtract the speeds, and if they're moving in opposite directions, add them. And a reference frame is just your point of view, your perception based on your velocity. And that's it. I hope this helps. Thank you.